Hey guys. So, on Facebook the other day, I made a post about um, how I'm over weed and THC and the whole pothead lifestyle. And I got a lot of positive feedback on that. But I also got some people messaging me, asking questions, um, just, you know, questions. Questioning why I stopped, um, accused me of having a problem with it, all, all this kind of stuff, you know, but anyways, I want to talk a little bit about why I stopped smoking weed. Not just weed, like dabs, I mean, anything THC related. Um, well, I had a long run with it. A long run. Not a proud one, but a long run. And... The first thing I'm going to say is I have no problem with with marijuana, with what it does, or, or anyone who consumes it the way they want to consume it. I don't have any problem. I have no judgment towards it at all. And it's, it, it's, it's just not for me anymore. It doesn't suit my lifestyle, it doesn't suit my personality or, or my brain or how I function. It slows me down. And it doesn't just slow me down. It's not that kind of thing. It, it, I used to be able to do perfectly fine. But it's gotten to the point to where um, I don't, <laughs> I can't just like smoke a little bit and coast off like a little buzz or a little high, bro. Like I, I go hard. And I've always been like that with a lot of things. I'm either fully in or fully out. I'm, not, I'm never like halfway there, you know? And, well, if you, if you smoke enough, or at least, well, not, not you. Okay, hold on. Let me reword that. Me personally, it turned me into an anxiety-ridden hermit. And I'm not that kind of person is the thing. I'm not a hermit. I'm very social. I'm very active. I'm very high energy. Ask anyone that knows me personally. I'm obnoxious. I have an obnoxious personality. And a lot of you guys don't see that because I don't really make that known. I don't let a, like all of my life be known on Facebook or anywhere for that matter. I don't believe in letting everyone know every little detail of my life. Um, and... It just didn't suit me anymore. It turned me into someone I didn't like. It turned me into someone who was scared of a lot of things and scared to go out in public. Simple things. Going to the store. I'd overthink everything. My anxiety was through the roof. I'd wake up with anxiety. And it turned into this never-ending circle of me smoking so much or dabbing so much to where I would sleep or I'd be so stoned that I didn't think about the anxiety. But getting that stoned isn't good for me <laughs> at all. I don't get anything done. I do nothing. And, you know, I'm about to be a dad. I'm about, and, and nothing against any fathers out there that smoke weed. Like, if you can handle your business and your day-to-day -day life and still do that, then that's awesome. More power to you. I have no judgment towards that at all. It's just not for me, and I feel like I will be a much better father, a much better dad, a much better boyfriend, a much better son, a much better brother, uncle, you know, everything to people that love me. I feel like I would be a much better person to them and be able to do better by them not being stoned anymore. Ever. At all. Never. Not occasionally. Nothing. Completely dropping it. And that's why... I'm not smoking it anymore. It put me into a depression that I can't even explain. And how I know that it it was me getting stoned that caused that is because I quit and I get clean and I don't experience that anymore. I'm happy. I'm content. My energy level is consistent. I get a lot more done. You know, I'm a lot more clear headed and I like that. I like being clear headed. I like having my wits about me. I like being sharp with my thoughts. And weed blocked me from getting there. Getting stoned blocked me from getting there. It wasn't just weed. Like I said, it was a lot of different THC products. 
And it just stopped me from getting there. Stopped me achieving my greatness. Stopped me from achieving my greatness. And I can't have that. I'm 29 years old. I'm not a kid. And to me, the stoner in me stems from my teenage years. So weed to me has this connective memory and feeling of my teenage self that I need to move on from. I need to let it go. So on top of it giving me anxiety and just not doing well with the person I am anymore, the memory that it holds to me isn't an adult one. It's not a grown man memory. It's a child memory. It it, it, it reminds me of when I was young and partying and rapping at parties and and dream chasing, really. That's what it reminded me of. It has no connection to who I will be as a grown man, as an adult, as a better person. And I need to make new memories without it. So I'm gonna. And, you know, there were a couple people that were like, don't blame the weed and said stuff like that. I'm not blaming the weed. It's just not for me. And, like I said, I got a lot of support and love for it. And thank you to everyone who supports this decision. Because it means a lot to me. And I want to let you guys in on that. I went downhill with it. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people get addicted to harder things and have a lot harder time than what I had for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But weed was my downfall. THC is my downfall. It is my favorite thing to consume out of anything, but it is the worst thing for me to do. And it was very hard to get out of that loop that I was stuck in when I was depressed and had anxiety. It was so, so hard to get out of that. And I still did it, and I'm proud of myself for that. It is a, it's, it's a big thing in my world that I got away from that. Because it was hard, man. I just wanted to be stoned all the time, you know, to make music. I, I, I became so dependent on it for my creativity, for my happiness. And that's just not good. And it's not a good way to live or a good way to be. And so I thank you to everyone that supports this. Because it means a lot to me. And I want you guys to see me grow. I want you guys to see me become a better man. I want to be more positive. I don't want to be angry and hateful and depressed and anxiety ridden. I want to be happy, positive and spread love to you guys. And it's hard to do that when I'm just stoned out of my shit. I can't do that. So, with that being said, I'm clean. I'm good to go. And I love all you. So many of you support everything I do. And I can't thank you enough. And it's, it, it's a new life for me. It's a new way of living. It's a new vision, new energy, a new feeling to me. And I'm in love with my life now. And I'm so excited to, have to, to, to hold my baby for the first time in less than a week. This is less than a week away. Super excited. But before I get off topic and, and unorganized with my thoughts, thank you guys. Thank you for listening to this. Thank you for taking the time out to support me. I, I, I don't know how else to show my gratitude other than thank you. Seriously, thank you. And I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you guys have a beautiful night. I hope you guys wake up happy. I hope you guys find happiness. You need to. You deserve it. You deserve happiness. And don't let yourself, to anyone struggling with anything, don't let yourself be the person stopping you from being happy. Get out of your way. 